Okay, we broke into the thermostat housing. This is what we That's see what's here. coming out of the system. That's not even that AC Delco coolant that they did uh, dexed whatever that crap is. That is just water and rust. Um, I flushed the uh, heater core out through this hose and I'm going to try and force water in the other way through the thermostat port without the thermostat in and see if I can push more of that out. Okay, we've made some progress on this thing. Uh, got the manifold cleaned up, uh, valve covers back on, uh, new plugs and plug wires, got them all routed. Easier to do it while it was torn down a little bit. Uh, some of these are hard to reach. And when you're pulling your valve covers, you see this a lot, and I've seen this trick on YouTube. There's a bolt there that'll stick out too far. So what I did is just cut that off and then file it down. Um, instead of having to pull the pulley on the smog pump to get it out. It's not going to hurt anything. But making slow progress and getting some things plugged back together and put back on. Next step, we're going to uh, pull all these out and kind of lightly clean the holes out, get anything in there. Um, we'll oil up our O-rings on our new injectors and fuel rail and the fuel rail goes back on Okay, just want to update you here on uh, progress on the 1989 Corvette um, I've been working a lot of overtime and uh, We'll come out just when I get a chance here and there and try and get it back together uh, The things that have been done since the last video we'll go through quickly uh, valve cover gaskets um, thermostat um, we've got uh, the Bosch style 22 pound fuel injectors we've gotten all the fuel rail back on and new o-rings down in the uh, attachments here and we uh, pressure tested the system it's good we've put uh, new plugs gapped them correctly new plug wires AC deco wires and I put a new distributor cap rudder button and this is your coil here and I just reused the old coil um, today I've been cleaning parts these um, are as about as clean as I'm going to get them um, the inside of the plenium and the inside of these ports I tried to get really good with carburetor cleaner and uh, as you can see I just didn't get enough the uh, plenium and the cover for the uh, distributor I'm doing something different with them. I'm working with them to get them to match. But I hope to get that back on today. And uh, I've looked for the preformed hoses because there is a three way connection here. And what I'm running into is pretty much all the hoses uh, have dry rotted and gone bad. Uh, this was a preformed hose that I just made and reattached. And I just buying hose by the foot here, hose by the foot um, to bypass the throttle body. It was four foot of hose to come off the bottom hose and just come back around and connect into here is about what I measured so um, I'm going to check Rock Auto and see if I can find uh, uh, this upper hose and also um, I need an exhaust hanger for the center back they didn't have that one at all zone, but they had the bushing rubber bushings for the muffler connectors so I'll look on Rock Auto for that as well but uh, for those of you who are interested, that's where we've made it so far. We get the plenty of back on and I've also uh, cleaned uh, the throttle body as clean as it's going to get. And uh, it's going back on. Front side, the back side was the bad side, but still not perfect, but a whole lot better than it was. And then when we get that back on, of course, I told you on um, video one, this will be video two, uh, we will come around the front side of the motor and uh, I've got a water pump I'm going to put on it. And then the only thing engine-wise I think we'll have to diagnose and repair will be the um, fan to get it to switch on at uh, temperature. 
And you can see here I've got uh, that covered up so I don't get brake dust on my pants and stuff. But we're probably going to go over our $5,000 budget, of course. Uh, my wife uh, says she's going to buy me a set of seats. Um, so I won't count that in and we'll cheat a little bit and uh, what she's found are the race style seats that do recline but have the openings in the seats for the four point harnesses which of course we probably won't use we have the seat belts I've lost this cap but I'll see if I can find one and then we're going to have to redo all the seals and everything um, I think I've found paint where I can color match the hood and buff a lot of the rest of it uh, to where it's going to be um, doable or it won't be quite the embarrassment basically I just want it to be mechanically sound so I can enjoy the inertia factor you know that's my thing and another reason that I have such an interest in the 1989 model was that was the dream car when I was 17 18 you know uh, never thought that I'd be able to afford one um, and then here you can pick them up for 3500 bucks now, but you can't hire somebody to do all of what I did and ever be worth it. You'll never get your money back. But if you know a little bit about cars, um, all this stuff is not that complicated. It's just that you have to be patient and you have to be detailed with your work and mark everything. And uh, the more you work on it, the more you'll memorize where everything goes back. So depending upon your skill level as a mechanic, um, it's doable. And of course, uh, I assume we're going to run into even more issues after we get it on the road and after we run it, but we'll deal with those as they come. And also, on my channel, I have uh, the 73 Mustang. Uh, it is still um, on the list for projects. We're not going to get rid of it. Um, it does run. Uh, it needs a radiator. And then um, the transmission, when I started it, been sitting so long that it didn't circulate but I think if I can get it to where I can get it to run and rev I've got the trunk taped off just keep water out of it it needs a lot more work but it's all there and it runs the way it is all the windows are good but we still got it and we're still going to do something with it